it just a safe environment. It just nice and peaceful and I know as long as I stay sober, I have a place to be and a place to be wanted. Well, you know, in the Bible, it says that I'm a new creation in Christ. And so to me, that represents like a new home. And I live on the block of new community. That's where my new home is. And I feel so welcome here. And I just have so many supportive friends here and people to share my love for Jesus. When you come from a long line of addiction and your, your past life is all reflected of uh, addicts and uh, family members who are addicts, you have nothing but like all resources of addicts. You have to really rebuild your whole network with people who are in the right state of mind that you are in and who are wanting to help you improve in that way. So, you know, you have to change your, your core beliefs, your people, places, and things, especially. And with New Community, that does that for me. And when I didn't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for Easter coming up, you know, we look we look forward to those things because they, they reminded us of our family, but not all of them, not all holidays were really, you know, they weren't too great. But here in New Community, you know, it's that genuine love that you feel as soon as you walk in these doors. And um, you don't get that family dinner all the time, you know, or that perfect setup to where you have a meal set out for you in place that are provided by wonderful people that come from everywhere for us. and. Um, the hosts that put in their time and effort to get to know one of us to have that actual table talk. Like, some of us have never done that in our entire lives. But to go ahead and to introduce that to us women, you're changing our lives in positive ways that we can, we can help with that effort to change in our families.